What's going on beautiful people? Delo Brands back for another video and today we're diving into how you can take AI only prompts and generate websites that are hosted all through the same platform, making it very easy for you to maintain it, make changes and update it whenever you need to. And we are doing this with Firebase Studio. So Firebase Studio is if you do not know is Google's IDE platform that is connected to their Firebase uh, suite of solutions. And so a lot of people don't know that, you know, creating inside of this is powerful. You go over here, you type a prompt and it'll uh, give you whatever you want, whether it's an app or just a static website, but you can also host your apps and deploy your apps directly from this this system and a lot of people don't know about the different solutions that google has for this process so right here we have a client that we are working on her website everything is pretty much uh completed except for pictures and things like that but we are about to connect the domain so this is how you get your project from being a project file or a project url and getting it on your own domain all through AI. So all you need to do inside of Firebase, let's say your project is ready. All you need to do is go to the code the code version. And this is basically Visual Studio. So you're going to go right here where it says source control and you're going to see publish branch. So you're going to see all the changes that you made, all of the prompts that you use to create what you have right now and you are going to click publish branch. So this is gonna prompt you to sign into GitHub. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we now have it connected. Now we're gonna go back to Firebase. We're gonna type in that repository website. Okay, so this is gonna create a repository for us. It's gonna upload the files down here. You see it. Um, we do want it to periodically run git fetch. This is gonna make sure everything is updated when you're using your files. So it has successfully published the Jimby Corp website. And now we go back to GitHub and we go to our repositories and we have Jimby Corp website right here and it has all of our files. So this is all of our code, everything that makes our website, our website. So now that you have this, you are going to go back to Firebase and you're going to see an icon up here next to your project so you have firebase studio your project name and then you have this other icon this is firebase not firebase studio this is firebase so you click on this and now you have firebase open your console and what you want to do is go to build and depending on what you're doing we're going to do app hosting just because i plan on building this out into an entire platform and i just want that functionality to be there but hosting is more for static websites if you don't have any functionality if you don't have anything major going on with your website or any complex things going on then just go for regular hosting because that's for static websites but we're going to click on app hosting now we're going to click on get started we're going to choose our region we are going to have to import our GitHub repository. This is why we connected it in Firebase. So we're going to connect. So it's going to bring up a prompt and just go ahead and connect. So go through all the prompts, authorize Firebase app hosting. So let it see only select repositories, select that repository and click install. Select repositories, select that repository, then click install. It is now going to connect everything. Your GitHub repository is now going to be connected to the hosting. Select your repository. Then we are going to click next. Bam. So app root directory. All you want to do here is basically uh, leave this blank and you can choose a branch for the live branch, which is most times going to be the master. Uh, automatic rollouts on so trigger rollouts automatically whenever changes are pushed to your live branch i don't recommend doing this so it's basically going to republish your website automatically when you uh, push your changes to the github so we're going to turn that off click next configure the back end create an id for your back end so we're going to do gen corp 
Oh, we can't have capitals. Should be Corp Health. So now we're going to finish and deploy, and it is going to do things in the back end, basically connecting your GitHub to the app hosting functions and things of that nature. So now you have this view right here, which is basically showing your published app. It'll it'll load in a second, but that's not even what we're focused on. So we'll just let this load releases in progress. So we'll just let this load really quick. All right. So now right here, you guys see that our rollout is completed. And if we click on our link back here, it is going to pull up the website. OK, cool. So now what you want to do is go right here where it says domains and go to manage. Make sure you've already bought your domain and we're going to say add custom domain. We're going to type in our custom domain name and continue setup. Now it's going to give you instructions to input inside of your DNS. So I use Namecheap. Namecheap is an easy provider. All you'll do is go to advanced DNS and you'll change these inside of here. So Firebase is just loading up some instructions, but basically you'll add a C name, a, a record and a text record most likely. But one thing that I did want to point out with a Firebase is that it's literally free. Yes, we have website building by AI for free. This is why this is so important. So on the Spark plan, of course, that's no, no cost. But on the Blaze plan, the pay as you go, no cost usage from Spark plan is included. So guess what? We have no cost up to 10 gigabytes a month, no cost of storage up to five gigabytes, then 10 cents a gigabyte. I mean, this is very, very affordable. We have no cost up to five gigabytes stored. I'm trying to see the traffic, Where's the traffic. Monthly active users, no cost up to 50K monthly active users. And then this this one is 50 a month, but 50K monthly active users, like this is kind of crazy. So uh, just keep that in mind. But now we have our instructions. I have this blurred. I do not want you guys to see my instructions <laughs> and you shouldn't want anyone either to do that. So what you're gonna do is copy your values on this side and you are going to create the specific record type. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm going to add a new record. It's gonna be an A record. We're gonna paste what we need to paste and we're gonna put at in the host. Then we're just gonna save those changes. So now we're gonna do the next record, which is a text record. All we have to do is go back to Namecheap, go down, press text record, go to value, Put that in, put at, and click the check. Now, this is where people get kind of confused with Firebase or adding their domain through it. So this last one, the C name, you're gonna copy it. You're gonna go to your hosting, C name record, your target. You are going to paste that entire target, but with this Acme challenge part, all you're going to do is get everything before the domain name. So get all of that. And this actually might crash your computer doing this. It crashed my computer for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes the other day when I was doing my other website. So we're going to paste this in here and we are going to press period. So it says that we have an error here and I'm pretty sure it's just this thing right here. So bam, take that period off. Let's save changes. And now you want to go back to Firebase and verify records. Now you do need to wait a little bit of time. It did detect one of them that we added, but if you click verify maybe in an hour, possibly 24 hours, then you can definitely get it going. So make sure to verify your records and then it'll be connected to your domain. And I may include that somewhere in this video. I may not, but that is how you completely build an apps, a website for free with AI and deploy it using the same platform. Very, very easy. 
free websites. I mean, if you do funnels, free funnels, if you have a different side of your business that you want to market on a different website, you can do that for free. You can do your main website for free as well. Like it's it's here. So if you did learn something in this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Man, we are growing fast. I definitely have some things coming out. Go ahead and head to AIJK.us to check out the website and some things that we have to offer. Other than that, I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Peace. And make sure you check out this video right here because it has some great information that you will need as well.